To many, mangroves, seagrass beds and salt marshes may not immediately have a link to climate change. Yet many may not realize that in fact the sequestration of atmospheric carbon dioxide in these coastal ecosystems often exceeds the capacity that we find in many of the terrestrial ecosystems. Salt marshes, seagrass beds and mangroves are part of our carbon storage capacity on planet Earth. Few of us also have realized, and certainly science has only in recent years drawn our attention to the fact that just in the last 100 years, we have destroyed mangrove coverage on the planet by 50%. And salt marshes are estimated to have been reduced through human activity by anywhere between 25 to 50%. This is a significant reduction in the capacity of our planet to sequester and store carbon. Our focus in the coming years will be on trying to bring the attention of international policymakers to the important role that blue carbon plays, not only in terms of addressing the issue of climate change, but also to understand that these ecosystems produce multiple benefits that go well beyond their carbon sequestering capacity. We know that mangroves, salt marshes and also seagrass beds are part of a functioning marine and oceans ecosystem. Our ability to combine actions that benefit climate change but that also address the livelihoods, for example, of coastal communities, the viability of marine fisheries, all come together to illustrate that our attention has to be put far, with far greater emphasis on understanding the ecological functions of mangroves, seagrass beds and sea marshes, but also to manage them more deliberately, to protect them more effectively and to restore these ecosystems where possible. UNEP's Blue Carbon Initiative seeks to develop a global partnership that will not only contribute to maintaining this carbon sequestration capacity of these ecosystems, but also to bring the maintenance and also the protection and management of these ecosystems more into the overall arena of climate change mitigation and adaptation negotiations internationally. The financing of actions in this context is critical because if we do not invest in the protection of these ecosystems, then we not only lose them in terms of their general contributions in terms of ecosystem services to our societies and economies, we will also lose that carbon storage capacity. UNEP's Blue Carbon Initiative will focus on the development of methodologies. It will promote the development of national policy responses. It will inform not only the scientific community, but also actors who have an economic interest, a livelihood interest in these ecosystems on how they can become part of this effort. We invite you all to join this initiative and to be part of both consolidating the scientific foundations, but perhaps most importantly, and looking forward on how we should act, how we should implement actions that will make a difference to this vital part of our planetary system.